Hello, today I'm talking about sand aquariums, specifically ones with plants in, and how to keep this sand looking pristine, such as mine. It's a very simple process, but some people do find it difficult. The first tip that I would recommend is getting a great filter on your aquarium, because what you want to basically do is disrupt and stop dirt from settling on your aquarium sand. So to do this, simply have a really powerful and good flow throughout your aquarium and that will stop the dirt from settling on your sand. What you will find, however, is you will have areas such as this area I have behind this piece of wood where all the dirt will collect if it's not taken up by the filter. This is called a dead spot. So there's two ways of dealing with a dead spot. The first way is to add another source of water flow to disrupt this one and then that will be picked up by the filter. Or you can do um, a water change and remove it manually. So the second tip to keeping your aquarium sand clean is having the right livestock in there. So what you want is bottom dwelling catfish such as Corydoras or some loaches as well. They're quite good and they come in different sizes so you can pick the right size for your aquarium. In my sand aquarium for instance I have got a Cynodontis petricola um, which constantly hides but he does a great job at stirring up the sand and also I've got some Ancestrus which also do the same job. Um, what I also have in my aquarium are incredibly useful snails called Malaysian trumpet snails. Now some people say that these are a pest snail but in a sand aquarium, especially one with plants such as mine, they are amazing. What Malaysian trumpet snails will do is dig in the sand and burrow and this will bring all of the dirt from the surface into the bottom to mid layer and that will act as a nice substrate for your plants and will fertilise them via the roots. They'll also um, take all the dirt away from the surface again, keeping that nice and clean. They're also good in a sand aquarium because sometimes you can get build up of gas within the sand and what the snails will do is they'll um, disrupt these pockets of gas and release them in small amounts so they don't become toxic. Tip three is to manually remove any built up dirt. This dirt is called mulm. It's basically everything that's left over once any food or excrement from your fish has been digested by bacteria. It is basically inert and it's quite good for plant fertilizer, but it also looks pretty dirty and disgusting on top of a sand aquarium. So what you want to do to get rid of this is use a length of hose um, like this one here, and a bucket or anything that you can collect the water in. So get your siphon going, just like if you were doing a water change, I presume, and then use your hose to go about the bottom of the aquarium and just collect that dirt. You might get a bit of plant stuck in there occasionally, you can just remove those. But the tip is, don't go too close to the bottom of the sand, just hover above it and the suction will remove the mulm and hopefully, if you're doing it right, leave the sand on the bottom of the aquarium. Because obviously you don't really want to be removing your sand, you just want to be removing the dirt. And there, it's very simple to do. This mulm is generally quite a lot lighter than um, the sand so you don't really get too much sand getting sucked up. You will get a little bit unfortunately it's just what happens you're going to get bits like that stuck in it too but no worries and then just go around the whole of your dead spot or wherever the dirt is building up and just remove it. There you go look simple and that's it really those, follow those three tips to keeping sand clean 
you shouldn't have any problems. So basically, as a recap, you want lots of flow, the correct livestock to keep the sand stirred up, and manual removal whenever you require it. Now it looks better already. So I'll just keep doing that. Thank you for watching. More videos to come.